For the first time, we are seeing dramatic surveillance video inside a Canadian tire in East Vancouver, where a man attacked employees, took a customer hostage, and stabbed a responding officer before being shot and killed by police. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The video is played at the coroner's inquest into the death of Daniel Rintoul in 2016. Employees who were working that day are still shaken by the violence. One who was stabbed testified about the trauma inflicted by Rintoul. CTV's Shannon Patterson has a story and a warning. The report includes graphic content. This is surveillance video of 38-year-old Daniel Rintoul, dressed in camouflage, carrying a can of bear spray as he walked up to the firearms counter of an East Vancouver Canadian tire on November 10th, 2016. They had an individual come in, uh, present a can of bear spray and, and ask us to open the case, deployed the bear spray on us without a lot of warning and uh, proceeded to smash the glass and, and, and try to take the firearms. Another Canadian Tire employee who tried to stop him was stabbed in the face and neck. Once alone behind the counter, Rintoul grabbed a rifle and some ammunition and attempted to load the gun. When he was unsuccessful, he went down the escalator where he found an elderly customer who he took as a hostage. In a videotaped police interview that was played at the coroner's inquest, that customer said Rintoul told him to do as he said and he wouldn't get hurt. Rintoul led that hostage through the store with a knife to his neck before leaving leaving him just inside the main doors and walking outside, where Vancouver police were waiting, guns drawn. The officers asked him to get down, and he wouldn't do it. So the next thing was, uh, it appeared to me it was a yellow gun with rubber bullets that knocked him down. A witness recorded the resulting struggle on cell phone video. Niles Durzaf told the jury what he saw from the parking lot. They couldn't get him secured. As one hand would get close to the other hand, he'd get the other one out. One of the police officers then rolled backwards and he was cut, looked like he was cut in the neck. I never did see a knife, but he was bleeding from the neck down. At that point, the other officers got off him as well and um, they told him to stay down. Rintoul was on the ground screaming at officers to finish me. He again deployed the bear spray and attempted to get up. And that's when uh, they shot him again with, I guess it was the real gun this time. Rintoul was shot nine times and died at the scene. A VPD constable and the store employee were treated for serious stab wounds. An independent investigation found the responding officers were justified in shooting Rintoul. The coroner's inquest is automatic when a suspect dies in police custody. I don't think they had any choice. I think they did an unbelievably excellent job of keeping people safe. And even when their own uh, was injured that way, I think there was, they didn't have a choice. We were all in a lot of trouble if, if they weren't there. The employee who was stabbed by Rintoul, who has deep scars on his face and neck, told the jury he is still trying to get past what happened to him. He still works at the store where numerous changes were made to the firearms department after what happened that day. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.